Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time since I've actually uploaded a deck guide, but I finally found a deck that I think is worth uploading a guide for. So I will go straight into it. It is alchemy. So though, for those of you who have missed Delegate Alchemy, I've got a deck for you. And it's actually performed really well on ladder. I tried it out yesterday on stream and I think out of 10 games, we won eight. So an 80% win rate. I guess you can say. I'm going to explain the deck real quick, uh, what matchups I feel that are good against it and um, what matchups aren't good against it. So to start off with, I think, I know you see the Yidin in there, but I'll explain why I've included it. So this is Alchemy. You may have remembered it from a few seasons ago where Alchemy did super well. Um, that deck obviously got nerfed a few times I believe because we did get changes to I think it was for Kusia, um, Gedaneth got a change as well, uh, Coral so we don't actually have Coral in this deck so I actually have taken it out and the Skirmishes which uh, used to be a 4p but and now it's 5 so it did get nerfed heavily so we haven't seen it in the meta for a while now I, I'm not saying this is a meta deck but it definitely is fun to play on ladder and it uh, it can compete with the other decks um, and I'll show you in the video later on against certain matchups. So obviously we have Getty here as our scenario and uh, we have Fikusia. Fikusia plays for a lot of points. So basically uh, the game plan I normally do is I try to find my discard package. So we have Berna to discard. She draws two cards and discards the same amount of cards. So I try to find her in round one and then i try to find the skirmishers as well i know it can be hard to find them in round one um but yeah i try to that's my general game plan um if i don't find them then i normally just try and pass i find that this deck can defend a bleed pretty well and hear me out here you'll notice in my gameplay i actually mulligan the scenario <laughs> now it can be a little risky i know i know but we do have onira here for consistency and we also have um, maxi to show the order of our deck so this deck does thin out um relatively okay i wouldn't say it thins out you know a lot but it thins out relatively well and i normally do find it and the reason i mulligan this is hear me out here i feel like normally if i have this in my hand it normally gets bled out, especially because there's a lot of point heavy decks in the meta at the moment. So I try to defend the bleed um, by just playing Mushy Truffle. That already in itself plays a lot of points. If you can combine it with, I save uh, the preachers for the scenario, but if you can do one, and then you do another one from Mushy Truffle, then you can defend the bleed by playing your alchemy cards. So we do have some alchemy cards here. Um, I've included two Mahakam Ales and I'll tell you why in just a second. So I've got two Ales here because it actually is an alchemy card. Um, I've got the Marjoram here, a Swallow. Um, and then you've got Dwim. So Dwim Viandra actually can refresh either the scenario or you can get the um, Golden Froth again from Mushy Truffle. So I normally go for the Golden Froth because it's an alchemy. But I mean, if you want to... If you've got, I've got another druid, then you can replay the chapter two of scenario here. Um, Heime is just there to discard and thin a little bit more in case you just don't find burner in conjunction with the skirmishers. Um, then yeah, you can use Heime if you like. Havarus, because they're just good um, for peas. Um, and it also is for rain. Um, so the rain synergizes well with Bride of the Sea, which I'll get to in a sec. Um, Freya's Blessing is an alchemy card, um, so I did have to downgrade a uh, another Freya's Blessing to fit Yudin. Um, I initially did have Igni in this one, but I find that Yudin plays better, in my opinion. But again, if you want, you can put Igni there. That's not a problem at all. Uh, Gremis, so this guy has been an MVP when I've been playing my matchup. So reason being is he purifies any unit so it could be your opponent's units or your own not only just that he has zeal and he is a six point body and he refreshes every time you have an al play an alchemy card and the beauty of this deck is that you play a lot of alchemy cards so he refreshes a lot he's not just a one-time use he uh refreshes all the time 
Now, so when I'm actually matched up with Nilfgaard, so there's a lot of imprisonment Nilfgaard on the ladder right now. What they'll do, what you try to do is like bait out the locks from, they'll try to lock your preachers, right? Because preachers, if they're bonded, they boost themselves by two. So it's literally four points every time you play an alchemy if you've got two preachers on the board. Sometimes you can play three as well. Um, and then you get an extra one from the scenario. So it's points, points, points. So they normally do try to lock the preachers um, with their leader charge and they'll always have like a few locks in there. So they, once they see the grimace, they will try to lock it. But that's what the ales come in, right? So the ale will unlock him. And then you can, because he has his order, you can unlock a second unit. So it's pretty cool. He's been coming in clutch so many games. So you will see in the gameplay later on in the video. Um, he, yeah, he's such a good card in this deck. Uh, I remember back in the day, he wasn't in this deck. But I feel in this meta, we just need the Grimace because there are poisons running around. There's locks defenders to get through so he is down he's a great card uh giga scorpion for uh, the tiny bit of control that we have um and also it's an alchemy card bride of the sea so uh, i spoke about the havers earlier havers can put rain on the board the synergy with the bride of the sea is that you can increase the cost of the provision uh, alchemy card in the graveyard if you um, have some rain and storm on the opponent's side. So if you put some rain on, say, you know, normally she just plays the 4P cards. We have a lot of 4P alchemies, but if you wanted to do, say, a Freya's Blessing or even a Giga Scorpion, you can do that if you've got rain on the opponent's side of the board, which is pretty cool. Um, Burner is for the discards and then Crow Mother, she's nice to, you can discard her or you can play her. Um, just depends on you know when you draw her or if you're able to discard her basically she just comes out of the graveyard every time you play an alchemy card so very good carryover um, especially if you play her early on in round one then you got mushy truffle the bonded units we have two bonded units in this deck we have a little have and we also have the preachers so take your pick i normally try and go for the preachers but you'll see in some matchups there's just a lot of control so sometimes the preachers don't survive uh, Yudin, okay, the reason I included Yudin is that a lot of these decks on ladder are right now are like boosting a lot and you'll notice that there's a lot of Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard like to boost all on the same row because they do play Triss Meteor Shower, which is right here, which was very convenient. So, um, it resets them all and then same with Scoia'tael, there's a lot of the Scoia'tael Gorilla Tactics Harmony on, on the ladder, so that's been resetting. Um, so I just find it's like a great card to throw in. The only kind of decks or matchup that I would say is really hard with this deck is Skellige because Skellige don't really boost themselves um, so that's the only downside with this deck but every other matchup has seen has been pretty good and obviously you know NR they have been boosting from that scenario so we'll just reset them all so for me Geralt Yodin has been been working pretty well so that's the deck. Uh, we will go into some games. I'll show you some couple of matchups and see how we won those games. Um, but for now, uh, try this deck out. We only have, you know, a few days left of 10.9 before we get new cards. But this has been really fun. So if you are looking for something to play with Skeletor that's not Warriors or Pirates, then definitely give this one a go. So I'll see you in the games. Yeah, Nilfgaard is my favorite. I think it's Nilfgaard. So I think it was the first faction that took me to pro as well. See? See? There's a lot of locks. The North shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. So yeah. I feel like we don't really need these right now. Okay, that was good. because it puts so much armor on him. Not a fan. You can hide, but I'm gonna get you. Hmm. 
I know this is coming, but I... You know what? Like, I don't... So when I play Nilfgaard, I don't like to win round one because then they play... Um, Nausicaa Sergeant. So I normally like to just... Because we can go deep. Let's just keep this for now, I guess. Yeah, so what I was trying to explain was like, I like to not win round one because they play Nausicaa Sergeant, but... And we have Yeren anyway, so it's fine. It's all good. I guess because we're on red coin, we can just try and push. Meaningful buffs and nurse existing archetypes, the new cards itself are nice to have, but I do not like if they want to make Bachelor out of play by adding one OP card and the rest is still garbage. Yeah, I think they're doing their best to update Yondu. It's just honestly, I think Gwen is a small team, and so for them to try actually like do all these changes, it's gonna take them a while, you know, because they're gonna be testing it because they can't just be like buffing and nerfing things and then. We play it and then it's unplayable and then people complain. So I think that's why we're seeing it the rate that it is. Because, um, yeah, it's just, it takes them a little longer. You missed alchemy, good old day. Speed too far across. I'm trying it. I don't know how it's going to go, but I guess we can only try, right? played was bronzes <sighs> but yeah we try i think that gyanon really carries this deck though So chat, I do something a bit controversial. I actually mulligan this because I feel like I don't want to get bled out. I was kind of wanting this, but anyway. Alright. Because uh, if we keep it in hand, I just feel like it gets bled out sometimes. Oh. Huh, <laughs> they want to go a long round. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Might as well use your Nero because it's not really gonna get any value later. I think long round might be better for us. If they follow NR Soldier Swan by making a new archetype that uses existing stuff out of left field, I'm excited for it. Yeah, I'm excited to see what we can come up with. Um, so yeah, definitely theory crafting coming our way. I wonder what else we're gonna get for Nilfgaard. So, for Claire, are we gonna get like 
Toussaint kind of themed cards, it seems like. A sergeant nerf. I think we will get a sergeant nerf. I think. I think it's a little too much. Just be spawning. You know. Slave driver? You think they'll nerf? I think if they nerf... I think slave driver's okay. How's your day been? It limits space design? Mm, I guess so. Watch this chat. Look at look at Grimus carrying here. And then we do this. He refreshes. Ah! <laughs> He's insane. He's so crazy. For example, by it limits uh, overwhelming hunger power as a leader, is it because or it becomes too oppressive? Yeah, true. What's new in your world? We are playing alchemy. <laughs> alchemy is such an old archetype, but it's one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. Bow before modern Freya. I don't think we care about refreshing them. Uh, what have you been playing lately, Ash? Any exciting decks you've been playing or just playing meta stuff? You enjoy alchemy? I need to get better at it. I'm guilty of overcommitting. Yeah, there's a science to it for sure. I just used to play a lot of alchemy back in the day, so... I'm not saying I'm an expert at alchemy, but definitely... Definitely can kind of help, for sure. Can you ping it, please? Oh, this rain is annoying. Hey, Ezra's, how are you? Did you see the NG leaked reveal? And if so, what did you think? You think NR is better? Okay. No, there was an NG leaked reveal. We got a new location. Because IDOC was supposed to upload it for 3.30 p.m. And he accidentally did 3.30 a.m. So we got it early. So we got it early. Send link. Wait. Uh, oh, I closed it. Hang on. Let me open it.
I wait, we're gonna have rain, right? Yeah. So I can do uh Freya's blessing into a little half room. Yep. Can they normally roast that because they want to play Triss, right? They're probably going to play Igni, so we just have to play around it. Stars content, you shall be victorious today. You love the voice acting for the Skellige cards? They're pretty good, Ozzy. I agree. Oh my god, they even did the Triss straight away. I don't know what they're They're probably playing Igni, right? Not your lucky day. Torn opponent? Oh, I am so mean. So mean. So I'm guessing it's the same story here because they have um, the scenario. Don't, yeah, he didn't GG me, but I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care. Because I played Yeren, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just uh, reading the meta. That's what the meta calls for, right? Oh, because I taunted? Probably because I taunted. Uh, this looks kind of weird. Let's. Saskia with Harmony Scenario. Am I right, chat? Am I right? I'm gonna pass because I don't want to play into Saskia. But yeah, Grimus, like, like Grimus does really well in this deck. Okay, he's played one chameleon. But yeah, probably didn't get GG because I taunt. I mean, I don't GG people when they taunt me, so understandable. Totally understandable.
We don't have another um, thing here though. Did he give it GG, Drunk Bondry? I don't remember. I was just going by what um, Skittle said. You know what? And they just will leader it anyway, so we just play this, I think. Oh yeah, tripping? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they did a GG me. I don't remember. I think that was a bit much, but anyway. They want to go a long round, then whatever. He did with a little delay. Yeah, okay. I thought that was the case. Grimace? Oh, actually, maybe in case they poison our things. Yeah, okay. Look at you giving out coconut skittle. That's too nice of you. Of course, of course that happens. Of course. I refuse to believe they play Heatwave chat. They don't play Heatwave. Like <laughs> Gamble 6969. Lovely. Nice and wet. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. <laughs> they play heat wave chat. So cheat. Oh, that's so cheat. I hate when people do that. <laughs> Says the person playing it in. Shouldn't have committed that Fokusia there. That was a bad move. Uh, you can check points. I think that's how you can check it. You give me fail these some? That's too nice. You're so sweet. Yeah, see, we do this. But then he moves it. Shoot. He doesn't have any more poisons though, right? He only has like one more, which is from the tree. And if he moves it, it's kind of awkward for his Saskia. Uh, this was such a break, but we had to try and find, you know, another alchemy. <laughs> That's very nice. Are you giving what he lost? Or oh, almost. Now you and Feldy are equal. You Did you do that on purpose? Wait, you, you, Feldy and Mudo are exactly the same. 17, 17, 17. That was the goal? Oh. <laughs> uh. 
Travel makes one modest. Let's one see the bigger picture. Beyond what the eyes see and the ears hear. Did I see the NG location? Yeah, but Claire, did you like it? What did you think of it? like sensor plus spores i mean sensors changed but yeah i know what you mean definitely know what you mean break i feel like if we had anything else because we have like three breaches like if we had bright or even any of these alchemy then this would probably be better for us Because, yeah, their bird's still kind of big, right? I think we have any other card chat, we would win. That's my opinion. Oh, wait, we still win. Lol. Lol. Oh my gosh, yes, I love knights because we have beauty. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe aristocrats that buff both players' cards by like can buff them, copy their poison and poison. To sort dresses, that would be nice to see for sure. this gets here but i don't like the like all the golds at the bottom so i'm gonna have to shuffle to try and win this round i don't think so because i think if we draw it in we can defend the bleed i 
Oh, that's so rude. That's seriously so rude. I don't... I mean, it makes their sword bigger, which I don't like, but anyway. Also, our Fukusia is actually kind of awkward. But yeah, most likely we will get more aristocrats, right? Nice to see more, more aristocrats. Honestly, Fakusia is kind of oxia because we haven't got like anything in the. Uh, I guess we have burner. We have burner, so it's fine. I'll find this again, chat Cropium. Copium, copium. I'll find it again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we will. You know, we really needed that, um, we really needed that grimace. do that but mm. so yeah and you look oh my god i keep forgetting to send you the link um yeah double toll punish oh my god chat we are gonna find scenario right <laughs> i shouldn't have mulligan it okay well, this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do we're gonna play Fukusia and burner and she will fetch it for us. She will fetch it for us, right? All right. Um, Copium, copium, not finding a scenario. Um, so look on, uh, look up IDOC on YouTube. That Yidin's gonna be huge, yeah. Come on, please. Okay, thank you. Whew. I was nervous that we weren't gonna get it. It's fair for 13p? Yeah, I think so.
Carry Carib Dust. Thanks for the follow. No, why are you waving it? Oh, don't be rude. That's all right. Yidin will save us, chat. Greetings, where are you from, Carrie? Down with Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Here, yeah, I'll I'll link it to you. Wait. I'll link you. Maybe he took it down. No, it's still here. It's still here. Welcome to Carterville. Today we're gonna As if he couldn't find it. <laughs> here you go. There you go. a card out though, I must say. I wish we had a bit of rain on our side, but anyway. If we had rain, we could uh, do like another Freya's Blessing. Ornate Sense of 2.0, yeah. I think some people have had mixed, you know, mixed feelings about it. But in general, I think, yeah, it's strong. Sensa was bad, it, I agree. You know, the th good thing about Gremis, he just refreshes every time you play Alchemy. It's so good. I can't even tell you how good it is. So good. They don't give up with Sensa, I know. It's so good. I mean, it's 13 provisions, but it has the resilience and it's an artifact, so. I, I wouldn't say it's bad. Last card chat. Sorry, nice. See you in like seventy something points. 